Getting started with the Xbox One, Xbox Adaptive Controller, and Logitech Adaptive Gaming Kit. For both of the games that come with this Xbox, you will need to sign in with a Microsoft account. You can sign up for a Microsoft account at xbox.com slash live and click create a free account. We recommend playing the games that come with this system from Tech Owl, Rocket League, and Race with Ryan. Any games you purchase on your Microsoft account will only be available while you have the Xbox. Once you send the Xbox back to Tech Owl, you will not be able to play the games. If you choose to purchase your own Xbox console, you will have access to anything purchased on that account when you log in. This Xbox comes with a console and one controller, as well as a power cable and an HDMI cord. It will come with an Xbox adaptive controller and a USB-C cable. It will also come with a Logitech adaptive gaming kit, which comes with 12 plug and play buttons and triggers. You can arrange and attach them as needed. To get started, plug both the power cord and the HDMI cord into the console. Then plug the power cord into a wall outlet and the HDMI cord into an available HDMI socket on your TV. Press the Xbox button to turn the console on. The green arrow here shows where the button is on the console. Follow the directions to set it up. Update it if necessary and connect it to the internet. To sync the controller, you may need to make sure there are two fresh AA batteries in it. Then press the Xbox button on the controller until it lights up. Next, press the small black sync button on the top, which makes the Xbox button flash. Then press the small sync button on the Xbox console. When they both stopped flashing, it means that the controller is synced to the Xbox console. For the Xbox Adaptive Controller, you do not need any external batteries. To sync it, start by pressing the Xbox button. Then, press the small black sync button at the back. Once the buttons stop flashing, the Xbox Adaptive Controller has synced. Then, press the sync button on the Xbox console. Upon setting up the Adaptive Controller, the directional pad that looks like a plus sign allows you to move around the screen. The big A button on the left is to select, and the big B button on the right is to cancel or go back. For one of the Xbox kits, some of the switches are already labeled, including the left and right triggers, as well as X, Y, A, and B. There is Velcro on the back of the switches, so you can attach them to the Velcro board. You can plug switches into the back of the adaptive controller into the slots that are labeled for those particular buttons. You can use the blank buttons to customize your gaming experience. You can decide how you want to use each one and then plug it into the Xbox adaptive controller. For reference, here is some information about the buttons on the Xbox controller and adaptive controller. The large round Xbox button at the top of the controller and at the top left of the adaptive controller is called the Xbox button. Pressing this button once will open up the guide and allow you to click home. Holding this button down will take you to the what do you want to do screen, which allows you to turn off the console, turn off the controller, or restart the console. The menu button is to the bottom right of the Xbox button. Clicking the menu button allows you to access game settings. You can use it to pause a game or restart. The view button is to the bottom left of the Xbox button. The function of this button depends on the game. The D-pad or directional pad is a black button that looks like a plus sign. This button can be used to interact with the console and Xbox games. Depending on the game or setting, the A button can often be used to select and the B button can often be used to go back. Once you have all your buttons situated, you are ready to start playing a game. You may need to use the Xbox controller as a joystick, depending on the game you are playing. To play a game, insert the disc into the Xbox. To remove a disc, click the Eject button, which is the round white button to the right of the disc reader. To play Race with Ryan, you will need to log on to a Microsoft account. If you do not have one already, the Xbox will prompt you to set one up. In Race with Ryan, the A button drives the car. You can steer the car right and left using the joystick on the Xbox controller, the D-pad, or the triggers plugged into the adaptive controller. 
The LT button, left trigger, allows you to use the magic skill. To play Rocket League, you will need to log into a Microsoft account. If you do not have one set up already, the Xbox will prompt you to set one up. In Rocket League, the RT button, right trigger, drives the car, and the A button is to jump. For additional information about the Xbox controller and console, go to support.xbox.com. Have fun!